Planting beetroot roses can be a cost-effective and excellent way to add beautiful roses to your garden. However, there are common mistakes people make when growing beetroot roses, and these mistakes you should avoid. Here are the following mistakes and how to correct them. Coming up. Out there, my name is Marcelina, and welcome to CashewGreens.com. For those of you who haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe now. Also, remember to always open your notification icon so you don't miss anything. All right, let's get back to our video. Common mistakes people make when planting beetroot roses, and these mistakes you should avoid and correct them. Now, I'm a collector. I collect plants from different species. I also collect roses and this is one of my roses collections. I love this rose because it has a beautiful foliage plus the flower is awesome. I love orange. Uh, this is called Ginger Snap Rose. If you love roses, follow me on Facebook. Also, add me to your Facebook friends. I would love to be your friends and happy to share with you my collections. Now, the number one mistake people make when planting beetroot roses that you should avoid is planting too deep. Whether you plant it in the ground or plant in the container, you need to plant it correctly. What will happen if you plant too deep, your roses will die because it restricts the ability of the root system to take up, take up adequate uh, oxygen and water nutrients. So basically, you're suffocating your rose. So to correct the problem, you need to expose the bud union or bud graft. So this is the bud graft, the swollen part of the stem that meets from the roots. You need to expose the bud, bud graft one to two inches above the soil line. That is the correct way. Second mistake, not soaking the root. What will happen? If you are not soaking the root, <laughs> think about it. Your beetroot roses has been stored or had been stored in the storage area, wrapped in a plastic paper, a plastic bag or wrapper or paper, whatever, <laughs> and it is basically the root is like dry. And if you don't soak the root, it takes longer for the plant to establish. And if you want to establish faster, you definitely soak the roots, all right? That is how to correct the problem. Now, when I soak my beetroot roses, I added a Zadiractin uh, concentrate, two tablespoons in a gallon of water. And I will link the product below this video, just check the link. You can also add uh, hydrogen peroxide, one half cup, in a bucket of water, add a little bit of oxygen molecules in the water to help the roots. And the purpose of having this uh, as, azadractin concentrate and uh, hydrogen peroxide is that you are limiting or preventing the possible fungus disease or pest that may contract the root. So that is kind of prevention if you want to keep your roses happier and healthier and produce tons of blooms in summer. So that is the, uh, the case. Now, other mistakes is that not pruning the root. Now, you cannot just plant the bay root on the ground without checking the roots. There might be uh, infection going on or uh, there might be dead roots. So by pruning the root allows the uh, root system to allows the plant to produce new roots. So make sure that you trim the root. That is the problem uh, people or mistake people make. They are not pruning the root. Another uh, mistake is uh, not putting or adding compost to the soil. Now let me share with you here. I have tons of people asking me, Marcelina, when is your soil blend will be available? It's time now, it's available. It takes 
it took me six months to adjust the pH of this soil. If this is not just a regular soil that you can put, it contains a, it contains a fungal neem powder and mycorrhizae, which is helping the roots of your plants to prevent the roots against pathogen. So it is uh, mycorrhizae is a beneficial fungus found uh, that is helpful in protecting the roots basically. <laughs> So here's this, it's one gallon bag, and this is probably uh, available now in at castiogreens.com, but if not, you can get it on Facebook market. I think I placed this. So this is uh, for citrus, but it is also good for acid loving plants. Now you can add pit, uh, how to say this, sweet peat. I bought yard of sweet peat because I have too many plants and I need especially uh, my blueberries, citrus, roses, those acid loving plants I need the sweet peat because this this uh, compost is a balancing act. It balances the peat in the soil. Alright. Next mistake is watering. Not watering your bay root roses. Now, if you plant your beetroot roses, within two weeks, you need to supply a constant watering. But make sure that you don't overwater it. <laughs> make sure that there is a lot of drainage in, this, in the container. You need to keep that water supply to keep that plant, uh, you know, going and establish better. So water within that two weeks. Then after that, this is a mature plant. And Birotrosis is a matured, so it can take up uh, any stress. So just in that two weeks, you have to make sure that you monitor the plant and water it all the time. Okay. Next is pest. Now, roses are susceptible to uh, some common pests. It's just like the same as any plants you grow in the garden. And what I have here, my roses are always protected. I use Azatec Plus. This is the effective uh, spray that kills 200 bugs. And roses uh, problem is, especially in spring where new shoots uh, emerge. So this is the target for uh, aphids. So aphids would eat all those new shoots that is uh, nutrients for them. <laughs> So you need to spray it. So when you use Azatec Plus, uh, you have to spray on the top and below. And I have video on that on how to apply Azatec Plus Concentrate. So make sure you protect your plants against pests and diseases. And uh, prune your roses as they are established. Make sure that the brand, there is no disease on the branches. Remove the, the, the branches crossing over. You want that air circulation inside. And uh, sometimes uh, you can also get trips. So trips will attack not just the foliage, will attack also the, uh, how to say this, the bud. So before it opens, the, you have to make sure, uh, make sure you spray when the bud is still closed. Because if you don't, the trips get in and then it distorts the flower and it's really look ugly so you don't want that you want that beautiful roses in your garden so make sure you don't neglect it all right so as a thing and i think this is uh, this is for now so those are the common mistakes people make uh, planting bay roots so you have to avoid it by planting it right so let's go ahead and plant the roses. So stick with me. So this is the bay root. As you can see, the root is healthy. And I'm going to plant this in a container. So I'm going to soak this uh, bay root in water. And uh, I already have this water in the bucket. I added hydrogen peroxide. So this is the soil I'm going to prepare. And I'm going to add uh, Sweet peat here. 
Okay, so let's soak this for a couple hours before we transplant the rose. Okay, so we're going to plant these beetroot roses. So I have this one here is already uh, soaked. I added one half cup of hydrogen hydrogen peroxide, and I have my neem powder here. I'm going to spray in the soil, so I am going to grow in this container. So I just spray a little bit of neem powder onto soil. So as you can see, the root is healthy. Probably trim this root. And I'm going to plant it here. So this is going to be a nice rose. So I expose the bud graph. As you can see the bud graph here. So I am going to expose that one to two inches from the sewer label. Now I'm going to add compost. This is the sweet peat. This is going to balance the pH of the soil and also giving extra uh, small amount of nutrients once it breaks down. Okay. Stop it down. Alright, so we're done planting this and I'm going to add this tablet. This is 2025, so 20 uh, nitrogen, 20 phosphorus, and 5 phosphate. So we want this plant to produce tons of foliage and at the same time, also in summer, would be producing tons of blooms. So I'm going to put this tablet aside in this container down. Now I'm going to water it thoroughly. So you have to uh, soak the soil until you, f you see drainage draining down. So as I, men I mentioned, you have to constantly watering uh, your beetroot roses until two weeks make sure that they get a good amount of water and I see a little bit of dead branches here so I'm going to cut it
All right, so after you have the roses planted either in the container or in the ground, you have to make sure that you protect the plant from uh, sunlight. So I will put it here. This is a little bit uh, shade area. They can, it can still get sunlight, but it is filtered. So that's it, guys. That's how you plant Beirut roses. Again, thank you for watching. Uh, see you next time. Marcelina at Peace out.